Hi, everyone. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. Um, I want to try something a little bit different today. So this problem that I have, problem 3.11, it's um, from Mannion Friedman's university textbook, but this one's actually super easy. Um, most of the questions that I've done before kind of are medium to hard, I would say, in terms of difficulty. So I want to try something a little bit easier. And if you like this type of content, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that I can see the stats from this. And if you engage more, that means you like you like this content and you want to see more easier questions um, in the mix. Um, I won't stop making medium and difficult questions, but it will um, kind of expand the types of questions that I will do for the future. So yeah, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and um, thank you so much for 100 subs. Okay, so let's get started on this question. So crickets, chirpy, and milada jump from the top of a vertical cliff. I'm not sure if I mentioned, if I pronounced that name correctly, but um, forgive me if I didn't. Chirpy drops downward and reaches the ground in 2.70 seconds, while milada jumps horizontally with an initial speed of 95 centimeters per second. How far from the base of the cliff will Milada hit the ground? Ignore air resistance. Okay. So in this question, we can draw it out. So let's draw it out by drawing a cliff. So I'm going to use the color green because crickets. And I'm just going to draw each of their situations using their initial. So if we have Chirpy and Milada, it says that Chirpy drops downwards, which means that he's going to go down like this and then Milada she's going to go like this right so she has so Chirpy just drops downwards right drops downwards and Milada jumps horizontally which means that because assuming they're on planet earth there's going to be some acceleration in the y direction so yeah she's going to be and let's just say that this is positive x and this is positive y yeah, so Chirpy just goes straight downwards and Milada moves in this um, projectile motion, two dimensions. So if we actually look at this problem, we can notice that Chirpy and Milada both actually have identical Y components in their motion. So if we're to write down our knowns for the Y components, we have it's both C and M. And we know that they travel the same distance, right? Same for C and M. We know that acceleration is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. We know that the time they're both going to take, well, if Chirpy takes 2.70 seconds, that means that Milada will also take that much time because they're both starting at the same Y distance. And we don't know what their VI or VF is. Oh, actually VI we know is zero. Um, VI is going to be zero meters per second in the Y component for both of them. VF, we have no idea, um, but we'll get back to that if we need it. Now for the X component, we just have Mileta, right? And she's, and she's jumping horizontally with 95 centimeters per second in the X component. So recall that for the X direction, we only have distance, speed, and time. We don't have an acceleration. So this VI is going to be 95 centimeters per second. And this distance is, we don't know, that's what we're trying to figure out. And this time is actually the same time as this. And just the reason we know that is because remember that something can only travel as far in the X direction as long as it is in the air, right? So if it's in the air for 2.7 seconds, then that's how long it's going to be traveling in this, um, in this like, um, unwavering uh, speed in the x direction. So if this is going to be 2.70 seconds as well, right? Because it's impossible that if something's in the air for one second, then it's going to travel horizontally for two seconds, right? I always use that type of example. Um, so now we know that distance for x is just speed times time. And if we do that, we have 95 centimeters per second times 2.70 seconds, which makes 200 and 
56.5 centimeters, which is equal to 2.57 meters, right? Um, if we're counting significant digits, because there's three here. So that's 2.57 meters in the x direction. That's how far from the base of the cliff Milada will travel. So it's going to be, this is going to be 2.57 meters. So I hope that was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Um, and thank you so much. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email or leave something in the comments. And I'll see you next time with another problem.